if you watching this, you probably was like me, man. You you was told get good grades in school so you can go to college and you can get you a good job and 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 you could make you a good amount of money, have you a good car, good house, white picket fence, family, all of that. The dream life, the American way. Fuck that shit, bro. Fuck that shit. I'm sorry. I was I was told that BS as well. And I live that. I live that. Let me let me just take y'all on the journey with me. Vibe with me, bro. Put your headphones on, vibe out. Let's chill. Let's relax. Let get to know me right quick. So throughout my whole life, um, I've when it come to my family and how men in my family were looked at and things like that, I've always been a, a little different. You know what I'm saying? I wasn't in the streets. I wasn't a troublemaker per se. I would I ain't pop off. I was I was always chill, laid back, wasn't quick to react. Always, you know what I'm saying, sat back, thought about things. And I was very smart. Like, not even no brag, no flex. I was very smart. Photographic memory type of smart. My son has it now. He don't even know. Like he could see something and then reiterate those words to you months later and he don't even know why. Um, but I was very smart to the point where I never studied my entire life. Like I never really sat down. Like how people cram study sessions. I need to do this. This is never throughout well, college, all of that. Never studied. So elementary school, straight A's. Never even got a B until I got to high school. But went to the local elementary school and every single time because that's how it is in most places. You got to go to your local elementary school unless you know what I'm saying. Hey, we know. We know. Look, if you like, hey, if somebody was in your school and he lived all the way over there. It was supposed to be over there. You, you know, you know, you know. So basically, I went to the local school unless you do the do. Oh, let me preface this. I forgot to preface this. I'm from the west side of Chicago. Big, big west side, the best side. Come on now, but chill out on me. Um, and, you know, that comes with a certain stereotype. Like, yeah, that comes with a certain stereotype. And now, now you're looking at me. He's like, oh, the black dude from Chicago with the dreads. Oh yeah, oh yeah, you didn't paint it. It's been painted. Stay with me here. Oh, well, I graduated. I think I was the Val. Yeah, I was I was the Val in my 8th grade class. Like I said, I got perfect grades. I think I messed around and got like the state test. I got like 100%. I was great at math. So I got like 100% in math to the point where they like wanted me to retake it because they felt like I cheated saying nobody's supposed to get 100% on this test like it's not made for that wilding but anyway i went to lane tech if anybody know what that is uh from chicago i took a selective enrollment test and i wound up going to lane tech one of the best high schools in the country and one of the best in the state of illinois so it did that i wound up graduating from there and uh it was time to go to college and i was gonna go to indiana state but they wound up over enrolling people to the point where I wasn't going to be able to go because they didn't have any space for the freshmen. Like they had no housing for the freshmen. So unless I was going to find housing myself, they, they really couldn't, I really couldn't, you know what I'm saying, be there unless I was going to wait till next semester where actually I think it would have been the following fall. My mom was like, nah, 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 nah. Oh, what we going to do here, oh, I'm going to send you to your grandma. She live in Mississippi. I'm going to send you down there because you're not staying in Chicago if you ain't going to school. Ain't, gonna, ain't nothing here for you if you ain't going to be in school. So, boom. I go down there, live, live with my granny for about, I want to say, for just that fall semester. Because I had wound up also getting accepted into Ole Miss. I just never got back to Ole Miss. So, after that situation, I go down, live with my grandma. I took some, uh, I took some classes in community college. And got A, so they would go with me, what's the name? And then I just put all the other colleges that I got accepted to in the hat because I wasn't finna wait a whole, basically a whole nother year to go to college. Pulled the name out of the hat, it was Ole Miss. It could have been Jackson State, Mississippi State. It could have been other places, but it happened to be Ole Miss. Thank God, W pulled out of the hat. So um, I wound up enrolling in the Ole Miss, and I started in the spring and go throughout colleges. I didn't do any um, internships or nothing, but... I graduate from Ole Miss and you know as soon as I graduate I'm thinking all right it's time like let's go in the work for you I, I've applied everywhere not a callback it's been months it's been month a month or two or three I'm living 
after after uh, I graduated, me and the wife, we went to live um, with my mother-in-law, love her dearly, um, with my mother-in-law. And I'm sitting there like, it's been a month or two. I haven't I haven't heard from anybody. Like, I, I've graduated. I got the degree you told me I need. Like, I got my degree. I got a bachelor's of science in electrical engineering. I've applied. Like, I'm, it's the entry level. Like, I, why I'm not hearing from you? And then I got to the point, like, after a couple months, I'm like, let F it. Let me just apply to regular jobs. I didn't hear from them either, bro. I was losing my mind. And I'm one of those people, like, I'm not, like, hella old school. But, like, I'm an old school dude. Like, I'm a man. I, I want to provide. I, I got to lock in. I don't, like, I feel a way if I'm not providing in that way. I've grown as an individual. And learned a lot of things. But at that point in time, I'm like 18, 19 years old. Bro, I, I felt lesser than. And I, I hated that shit, bro. I, oh, my God. That was that was a time in my mental. Shouts out to the wife for being there with, with me throughout the whole process. My mental was like, oh, my God. So I started applying to other jobs down by where my grandma lived. Immediately got a call back. Oh, boom. I get hired. We moved down there with my grandma for a time being. I want to say it was a couple of months. I'm working at GameStop and Lowe's simultaneous at the same time. Working my ass off. Like, I, no off days. I'm working my ass off. I'm getting this bread. It, it, we locked in. I'm, I'm feeling like I didn't went to college for no reason. We locked in. Jesus Christ. My camera wilding. But then the time goes. I want to say I worked at uh, Lowe's and GameStop for about three, four months. So then I finally get the call for the, the big job I've been waiting for. You go to college for, you do all of this, got the degree, the credentials. This is where you're going to end up if you get boom, get the call, get the interview. Hired shortly after. Absolutely. Once I got that phone call, I'm not going to lie. One of the happiest moments in my life. Not even going front. Regardless of how it turned out to be, one of the happiest calls of my life. You know what I'm saying? I'm chilling, living with granny. You know, it, 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 man, it was, yeah. But I was I was making a decent amount of money from GameStop and, and Lowe's. But this was like, those combined, double or triple. So I was like, yeah, it's, I, I, I made it. Shortly after we move out from living with granny, get us a nice, get us a nice house. Uh, I get my first car. Shortly buy my wife's car later. And, and we rocking and rolling. Wife get a master's. She working this. We, we. He living a life. I take my son to school every morning. He go to after school. I pick him up after work. Uh, shortly after my daughter's born, I it's it's the dream life being lived. But every day I woke up and I went like the day after I dropped my son off every morning. The day just at that portion, that time spent in that nine to five, man. I just I didn't like it. It is what it is. I, I I didn't like it. And I'm from the generation that taught you, go to school, get good grades, go to college, get the job, live the life. American dream. You got it. Do your thing, bro. I didn't like it. And I was surrounded by, like, I was one of the, young, I was a, a much younger guy in that space, like, one of the younger guys um, on that floor and I'm surrounded by these guys that's been there 20, 30, 40 years and man this is boom 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 I'm like man I, why they giving free game I appreciate it like the story they told me I mean great insight on things I was like man I can't I, I don't know something like my mama my mama worked in a corporate America for a while and then she worked in other places but and it all ended with her doing her own thing having her own like this is what I seen growing up but while that was preached to me what I saw I'm like it, it wasn't forced bro and then, and then it got to you know like y'all y'all saw the story man. it got to messing with my mental to the point where you know they were I, bringing out sides of me I didn't know exist when a job get to doing that it, it's time to go it's time to go like when a, when a job gets to doing that it's literally time to go so y'all ain't see that video make sure y'all check that joke and basically, I was living that living that dream, and I just didn't like it. But I try I, I try not to let my wife see that. But your your woman know you like they they know you. She knows something's up. What's going on? 
I let her know. She like, well, look, you know what we do. We know how we do. I got you. You got me. We got each other. And I'm like, lock in. Let's work. But um, uh, um, so I started um, like I started streaming. The lockdown was the best thing to happen to me. Um, but for my life in general, because I, I got a new insight on a bunch of things that I never would have looked at if it wasn't for a uh, lockdown. So I, I started con creating content and got a nice little following and I just did the math on if I'm able to dedicate a regular work day a, a regular work nine to five to this my number should be this I ain't do the math correctly I left I didn't I didn't I didn't throw in um that this isn't a a steady rise this is exponential this is exponential this isn't a straight this isn't a straight line it's one of those, you know what I'm saying? So what I what I planned for myself, oh, it, it was done with that after three months of me doing full time. My yearly, what I had planned for the year was hit after three months. And I was like, okay, okay. Back. So, yeah, man, like I said, I, I lived the American dream and hated it. I just got off the phone with my mama and I was like, I'm doing this video and this video right here for y'all. And I was like, uh, was it like, cause my dukes about, my dukes had me when she was a teenager, you know, frowned upon all of that. Get told you ain't going to make it this, that, and the third. Now everybody that told her that she's sitting on having a great life. And I say the son that she was pregnant with was truly, I think I'm doing pretty well for myself as well. If I do say so myself, I'm doing pretty well, you know? And can turned out all right. But as you know what I'm saying, we ain't gonna let we ain't gonna let nobody put their insecurities. You ain't gonna you ain't gonna place that on us, you know what I'm saying? You no 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 no. Like even me and my wife, um, we we had my son when we was in college. I wanna say it was about a second or third year in college. We we was told we ain't gonna be able to do nothing. You ain't gonna be able to graduate. You might as well drop out. You got on that. You ain't gonna be able to do this, then the third nigga graduate. We're honest. Son, right there in the tent is in a stroll a while and out. They tell you to keep quiet. I'm screaming. What are you talking about? I ain't got to say, I want to let nobody play state insecurities on me. You know, but yeah, this video was just, I don't, I don't know if it could be motivation for you guys or great story. Letting you know more insight on me, but yeah, man, I, I hadn't been there. Anybody's trying to figure it out. I hadn't been there. Trust me. Or you feel like you've made it and everything you thought it would be, it isn't. And it's just like, damn, ain't that a slap in the face?